this summer we're going to have an on-site at West Hill High School uh, summer internship in programming and uh, this brief video is going to give you some general information about the internships that are offered and we're going to discuss who is in them, uh, when the internship will take place, where it will take place, and what the various internships are. Uh, in terms of who, uh, the list is still in flux. I still have students every day that are looking to join, but this is the current list right now. The GE internship is not really discussed in this uh, video, and uh, but I'll just mention that the uh, four students listed in red are returning from the previous year, and the other three uh, have been added uh, this year. Uh, that is being handled directly by the GE Asset Management and uh, I'm, I don't get much involved in that except at the end to make sure everything went well. Uh, the internships we're going to be talking about in this video are these other three internships here and you can see the names of the people uh, who are planning to attend. Okay, so that's basically the who. In terms of the when, let's look at the schedule a little bit and I'm going to bring up the calendar uh, for um, for July and the internship as I envision it right now will start on site at West Hill on the 25th of July. The reason I can't start earlier than that is I'm teaching a course in New York City uh, before that. So we're going to start here and uh, we're going to go uh, through most of August. So my plan is to stop on Friday the 19th of August at, at least in terms of the on-site portion. The following week I'm returning my daughter to college and I think that's the last week before school starts. School starts this week at the end of this week and I want you to have at least some uh, off time here so I think it'll be good for both you and me not to be <coughs> in school just before uh, the beginning of uh, the next uh, school year and give you a little time to decompress. So in terms of the length of the uh, internship, the on-site portion will be approximately four weeks. But I do need you before uh, the yellow portion starts here on the 25th, somewhere prior to that, to get familiar with the tools that you're going to be using for your portion of the internship. And if you look on this web page uh, at the specific information for your internship, you can uh, find out what web tools you need to get familiar with. All right, so let's see here, how are we doing? Uh, we talked about who, we talked about when. Uh, let's talk about where. <clears throat> right now the plan is to have the internship take place in my computer lab in room 414, uh, but that could change and we may be uh, forced to move to a different computer lab in the school. And that might happen, for example, if it turns out there's no air conditioning in 414 and there is air conditioning available in some other location, uh, we may do that. The problem with moving the internship though is that the, some of the software that we need on the computers may not be uh, resident on the computers in the other uh, lab that we move to. But that, that'll be my problem and I'll, I'll try and figure that out. Uh, lastly, let's talk briefly about what internships are going to be offered. Uh, the on-site ones, there's going to be three particular internships. There's going to be one on rebuilding the class website. There's going to be one on uh, building an Android Studio course. And the third one is going to be building a course called Advanced CSAB, uh, which was actually offered a couple of years ago, but we want to dramatically revamp that course. On this uh, same uh, web page that you see this tutorial, uh, there's uh, in, in detailed information about each of these internships.